this is Bern, and if you've ever wasted time with men who cannot go the distance, today I'm going to be sharing with you seven signs that the guy you're into is not relationship ready. So stick around. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to BernMendez.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart-centered, and successful women how you can attract your ideal guy as a result of stepping into the most alive, most feminine version of you without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, or crazy tricks. Now, the first thing I want to say right off the bat, if you keep finding the same dude with a different face, who can't go the distance, starts strong but ends up weak, is playing hunt and call with you, is that you are choosing this man. So if you were choosing them, you can unchoose them moving forward now. I'm not saying it's easy, and I'm not saying that you're conscious of why you're choosing this man, but ultimately, you can change two things. A, all the men around you, which I find impossible, or B, you can change the way you connect with men and what you go for, and that's probably a better strategy for you moving forward. First sign that the guy that you want or you're interested in isn't available, isn't fit for a relationship, is he does not have a vision for his life. If you're a certain age, you've con I mean, you're mid-30s, let's say, uh, late 30s, early 40s, 50s, I mean, if a guy doesn't know what he's doing on this earth, the likelihood that he's going to be able to give you what you want long-term, marriage, family, sustainable future, is craziness. Why? Because the commitment required to go for a life of meaning, for a life of commitment, begs the question that the guy has able has been able to commit a few more times on things that are of an easier nature. If a guy can't commit to a vision for what he wants, then he can only take you as far as he's gone, and you are in for a bit of a bumpy road. Second, sign that he is not fit yet to be in a relationship with you if you what you want is something long term is that he can't verbalize what he wants let's say you have a clear idea of what you want you want to connect with a guy have a courtship period if it's the right fit move in together get engaged get married and have a family and he wants something good he wants something long term that's ambiguous and abstract give the guy that you want is very big on what he wants. The likelihood he's gonna change his mind or the likelihood that you're pointing your futures into two different directions is pretty big. So go for a man who can verbalize the type of relationship he wants so that then he can do what it takes to start investing in it, time, energy, and even finances. He's inconsistent with his pursuit. He is unable to sustain the pursuit of you, meaning he starts connecting with you and calling you and then he disappears. He says he wants to see you on the weekend and then he calls you on Monday with a half-baked apology because he was unable to call you this weekend when he said he would. Uh, and then he connects and then he takes you flowers and he's like hot and cold. When a guy is hot and cold, that's a big warning sign that he doesn't know the first freaking thing about what he's doing and a sign that you're into for a world of hurt because the times when he connects and it's hot, period, you're going to fall deeper into him. When he's cold, you're going to feel weird about it and even try to get more attached to him, which in turn will make him fly away uh, even more if he's the type of uncommittal uh, guy that typically presents this horrible trait. Number four, he's emotionally unavailable. What does that mean? For whatever reason, previous relationship, inability to connect with his own emotions, inability to express the emotions he feels, um, maybe anger issues, maybe lack of, as I said earlier, on vision in his life, which then has commitment issues. If a guy isn't emotionally available, that is a sign that you should not be in a relationship with him. And here's why this matters, because I've connected with thousands of women throughout the world, literally, and I'm not just metaphorically talking thousands, thousands of women throughout the world, who are really stuck with a guy who's emotionally available. They're into him, he's not into them the same way. Whenever you're much more into him than he's into you, whenever you feel like you're making time in your calendar, in your space, in your family, in your friends' lives, 
and he's not doing the same, there's an imbalance. And when that imbalance exists, and you have an attachment style that's strong, you will end up paying the price and suffering. So that be the fourth type of situation that is really bad for you if you want a long-term commitment in the man. Number five, he has a show-stopping trait. And I left this vague on purpose. Why? Because every woman is different. Some women make, uh, if the guy smokes, that's a show-stopping tra trait. For some women, if the guy drinks, it's a show-stopping trait. For some women, if he drinks in excess, it's a show-stopping trait. For some women, if a guy doesn't want any more children, it's a show-stopping trait. For some women, if he wants more children, it's a show-stopping trait. So you need to know, you need to have clarity as to what it is that you want, not just in terms of wishes and cherry on top of it, Sunday, but what do you want that's a red line in the sand for you? What are standards or goals or a vision for what you want that regardless of how cool the guy is, you do not want to break? If you don't know that, you stand a chance of being maybe, uh, you stand a chance to being per pursued by a guy who has strong uh, seductive qualities and then end up having something you don't want, recognizing it, too far into your life when you've wasted a bunch of time. Number six, he's unreliable when it counts. What does that mean? Well, it's fun to show up on Friday night when you're about to, I don't know, go clubbing, whatever that thing resumes in life, if that ever resumes, or go about have dinner or something. It's, it's showing up is easy. When you have a problem, when life gets messy, when things are challenging, when he has a problem, like showing up when it counts, showing up when not just times are easy, but when times are challenging, which is one of the reasons why I recommend to anyone who's interested in finding long-term fulfillment in love, that you time this thing. Because through time, you'll see how people react, how men react when they're stressed, how men react when you have a real problem. Do they show supportive? Do they show dismissive? Do they run away? Do they say the course? You will only find this through time. But a character of a person will be revealed much more powerfully in times of stress and in times of challenge than in times of ease. Number seven, he's not offering to take it to the end. And again, I'm leaving the end vague because you know what the end is. You know what you want for your life. And if you don't, you should really stop before you start dating because otherwise you're gonna find that guys have an agenda for you that you may not have for yourself. Well, if a guy is not willing to take it to the end, if he's only willing to go the first three steps, Let's say he wants to live with you, but that's where he stops it. And you want marriage, and he's not willing to do that. Well, that would be not being willing to take it to the end. So choose carefully, ask the right questions, and understand with a clear head, even when your heart is bursting with emotion and your hormones are pumping through your body, when a man cannot give you the assurance that you need to be able to invest the time long term, because he doesn't have his stuff together, because he's unclear on what he wants, because there's something that's really stopping him from entering a relationship, stop yourself from entering that relationship and create something from scratch. It sounds painful, but it's far less painful than waking up five years later in a situation that you could have definitely avoided had you given it the time and the energy early on. Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful for you. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do one thing. On the description of this video, in the first link in the description of this video, you're gonna find a link that takes you to a free class that I've created to share with you step by step how you can start creating the type of relationship you want. It's free, all you have to do is enter your name and email, and once you do, you'll be able to start watching right away. If you like this video, please click like or thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel if you want to continue watching more videos that can help you create the life and the love that you want. Thank you so much, and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life. Oh, <laughs>